This is Dr. Hanumay Gowda, consultant orthopedic surgeon practicing at AHA OrthoCare in Nagarbhavi, Bangalore. Old fractures in the spine, that is fractures that have happened about 5 to 10 years back or maybe longer than that, can lead to some sort of problems in the spine and also in the limbs in a later date, that is after about 8-10 years or maybe longer also. So these are because over time the fractured area gets healed and a lot of newborn deposition happens and because this newborn deposition and the deformed bone leads to reduction in the canal. What is this canal? The canal is an area where the nerve roots which is from the spinal cord to the brain connection that nerve root is passing through this canal and that canal get compromised or it gets narrowed. So that narrowing can lead to pains in multiple areas. So these pains when it happens in the lower lumbar vertebra like L4, L5 or L5-S1 area, it can lead to pains which can go radiating all the way down to the legs. It can also go radiating into the groin like the vagina or the scrotum, vagina in the females and scrotum in the men. And it can also affect the urinary and also the uh, passing of stools uh, area in the sense there may be some sort of retention or you know lack of control in passing of urine or passing of stools. They are all very rare. This like lower lumbar vertebra injuries and leading to such neurological problems or some sort of sensation problems are broadly put into a condition called Cauda equina syndrome. So a old fracture over years can evolute into a Cauda equina syndrome. So how do we manage this? If it's a very mild thing, then exercises and manipulations can help overcome this. But if it's a very bad situation, then we may have to operate and release the whole area. And we what we call it as bony decompression of the lumbosacral spine. That can be done. With this, you get a very good relief and you can have a life as normal as it was before.